What's good, guys? It's your boy, Black Lightning 4547. This is System Test 79. Requested System Test 18. Let's go ahead and get started. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. Please proceed to the stairways and exit the building. So today's request is by Aiden, the toilet elevator fire alarm fan, okay? So in the bedroom, he requested the EHEL1 WM24 on the ceiling and on the single gain spot is the simplex 4 nano 6127 on 110 Candela. The pull station is the FCI MS2. So there's that, there's that, and then there's that. So... For the closet, he wants the system sensor P2WL on 3K hertz on 185 Candela. So there's that. In the hallway, we have the system sensor P2WK on 115 Candela. The Firelight BG12L still remains. And so it's a P2WK. It just got moved. So there's that. There's that. And the gym, we got a little something interesting. We got the Willock RSSP 2475WFR. And on top of it is the Simplex 2901-9840. And the pull station is a 2999-9795. So, boom, and then boom, something different. So, the system will be on temporal. So, without further ado, let's go, excuse me, let's go ahead and uh, start pulling things. So, So, and oh yeah, by the way, I am using my smart sync module, which is totally not necessary, but I don't know how to turn off audible silence when I enable smart sync on here. It seems like it only comes one way when you enable the SQ alert, and it comes as only audible silence for some reason, so, um, which is a problem because all the two wire devices are on the same two wire circuit as the true alert. And um, what happened earlier was when I was testing the system, make sure everything was correct. Um, the true alert and the 9840 silenced but since obviously the system sensor devices aren't compatible with smart sync, they kept on going off. Um, so, um, yeah, so I have that smart sync module. I just have it tied to the visual NAC and I just have the visual NAC set to turn off when I press alarm silence. So there won't, won't be any audible silence during this test. So, but yeah, um, if you guys have a 4010, if you can explain to me how I can enable smart sync with, uh, with also not having audible silence on at the same time, that would be great. So, um, just for instances like this. So, but anyways, um, yeah, let's go ahead and start pulling things. So...
see they're in sync. And yeah, this is quite loud, so I'm probably not going to set it off for long for the next couple of real arms. Um, it's, it's 11 o'clock, so I mean, it's not too early in the morning, but still. Um, so, but anyways, yeah, we got the devices, uh, Devin's bedroom, M1-4, fire monitor zone. Did I reset the pool? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'll make sure. Alright, so, yeah, so all the alarms are attached to the Smart Sync module, which is the RSSP, the P2WK, the Triller, obviously, and the P2WL are all in sync, obviously, because um, strobes will sync regardless of what sync module will have. It's just the issue of the horns being compatible with that Smart Sync module or protocol so um because obviously strobe which sync strobes only require a cut in current in order to flash the strobes in tangent so um you don't have to be a manufacturer sp uh, specific on that but um but yeah but obviously everything else is out of sync all the horns are out of sync uh the 9840 and the eh el1 are both tied into their horns are both tied into the audible circuit, which is set on code three. And then obviously, like I said, the rest are on the smart sync module. So, um, but even then, um, you know, they're not going to be in sync. So, but, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and realarm a couple of times. I'm not going to sound it that long for these last two, because I think that first one was pretty lengthy. So, and So there's that loft area. And lastly, let's do the 9795. <laughs> And there's that. So we got three alarms, gym room, and then so let's go ahead and do a system reset. Make sure. Yes, I, I did. Pretty sure I did reset the pull station. So, um, yep. So, so yeah, guys, that's system test seventy nine. Hope you guys enjoyed um, this test. Vintage simplex fire alarms in New York is next. System test 80. And, um, yeah. Yep, system is reset. It's back to normal. And then, bam. So, let's go ahead and lock it up and call it a day. But, yeah. Uh, the advance was on medium volume, by the way. Not high volume, because that's just too OD. And so, um, but, yeah. And, obviously, the L-series on is high volume. So, but yeah so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this requested system test it's been your boy black lighting 45 47 happy holidays and have a good one